Alright, hi guys, and welcome to another game playthrough here on Nukes Plays. And today we're going to be doing What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, so, cool little, um, like, title thing here. This is literally like straight into it from like the title menu. So we have a, what, what kind of flowers are they? Like maybe, I don't know. Flowers not my kind of thing. So, I'm just trying to work out the control. Okay, cool. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. And so we're in already. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. So then you're going to turn around. So yeah, I don't know anything about this game. Um, basically, I got the Game Pass thing, so it's like a quiz, and I was like, sure, why not? Um, so yeah, so I've got this and like a few others. So I've got loads of games I'm just like gonna like try and bash through uh, and upload. So yeah, a lot of them I don't know anything about and this is one of them. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. I'm so far not sure what to make of it, like, it's pretty cool, stylistically. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Okay. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. So do we go left or right? Let's try left. See, I've got uh, Life is Strange episode, well, Life is Strange 2, episode 1 and 2, uh, to play through as well at some point. So, that's something to look forward to since the first one was probably, it's probably one of my favourite games, like, ever. Um, missing person posters. I wonder if that's, like, a... Easter egg or like a reference for something to come. And I'm just gonna keep going forward until we hit like enough. The truth is, uh, invisible walls. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Milton Finch. It looks like a young teenager. I wonder if there's a basketball you can use. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. It looks a bit of a cluster, but... Who am I to judge, Jane? Eh? So let's just have a look around the, the area. Oh, so we literally could have just followed that, but never mind. Same thing. This is actually like the first game I've played for like a good, good few weeks, a good month. So it's good to, you know, get back in the swing of things. And this one seems like a pretty chill, like kind of reintroduction. So that's that's good. 
Yeah. Some sort of, like, I asked dragon. Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Hmm. So it seems like it's going to be like one of those kind of... As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh, okay, so I'm wondering if this is going to end like a horror where you can't fight back or anything. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. That's pretty cool. So you've got like a little statue dude over here. You've got... Maybe rocks or like some sort of like shipwreck kind of thing. That swing set looks way too high and way too thin for my liking, but... So yeah, I've got no idea what kind of game this is. Wind chime. So far it's relaxing, I hope it stays this way, rather than... Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Rather well, than one to like stress me out and like suddenly just... The power had been turned off the night we left. Getting all messed up or something. It looked like it shined for a second with them, I would have just been lighting. Lacquer, every good garage needs lacquer. Grain grow. Pick up this torch. No. I wonder if we'll be able to pick anything up, really, or whether it's just a um, quote unquote walking simulator kind of thing. Like, um, for the first time home. in years, yes. So we've got okay, cool. We've got Edie, Dawn, Lewis, Milton, and Edith. So we know Lewis died and Milton's missing. And so I'm presuming we're either Edie or Dawn, and obviously Edith Finch, titular character. I felt like I was home. So far, I'm digging it. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Okay, so I'm guessing we're not Edie since that looks like a wheelchair. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. We've got some family photos here. A boat, much like the one we arrived on. A lot of stuff to do with water so far. That one's pretty creepy. The visuals are really nice. Let's see if we can read any of these. So a lot about um, travel and cooking. Typical old Nothing in the house cuddly. looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. In their plate drawers. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. The house sank? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, we can, we can zoom in with the left and right, no, the left uh, bumper and the left trigger. Right trigger and bumper don't seem to do anything. Oh! Ah, okay, so here we have a family tree. So 
looks interesting. Hmm. Pretty decent view. If it wasn't so crappy outside. This bit reminds me of uh, Resident Evil 7. So stuff with the lights on you can interact with is what I'm getting. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Insects creep me out. That's pretty cool. But look at this. Tasting Thailand. Witch's Kitchen. Can we look in there? Edie told me once that Ooh. every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Wonderful. Wonder if we'll get to go in there later. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Two thousand three, so he was eleven. The thing can't even get to the the cupboard, so I'll have to look upstairs. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. That's creepy. Oh, look at this. And we have another peephole. Barbara, Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. It's a pretty cool looking room. It kind of looks like there's like a yeti dancing with a little girl at the end of that thing, hmm. so. <laughs> uh, oh, more stairs. Yeah, sure. Oh. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night oh. we left. Okay. Whenever people ask me about my family, oh, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Bigfoot. It was Bigfoot. And we have another peephole room. Two of them. Calvin and Sam. Or just Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed Gregory. every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Interesting uh, carpet. I like the color though. Pink's good. Now then, did you already check? Oh, wow. Look at I this. spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. This room is, like, awesome. And there's a sunken house. This one, judging from the, the finches thing. Can we lift this carpet or anything? No, okay. Lewis told oh, me there were secret have... passages, but I never believed him. Oh. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. That was creepy. It's like a big cat. Once we thought we got some tea sets. Small kids drawings. Reading Stained this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. A 
creepy prom. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. And now we're in Molly's room. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. The weather looks like it's degenerating. Starfish. Oh, cool, scorpion. Butterflies, 1947. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Okay, this is interesting. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Good idea. What's my business cage? The gerbil okay. food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh, okay. See, we have two... Let's try this one. Bathroom. Oh, cool, we are tiny. Look, look at this, compare this thing. I kept eating and eating. No! I ate a lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping I don't know if this outside is meant to be like charming or like creepy. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. It's kind of both right now. I reached and out for her. Suddenly, no, no, I was a cat. Oh, this is strange. Yeah, I really don't know what to make of this. Can we go up here? No, across here? No, can we jump? Can we do anything? Come. Oh, there we go. Right trigger. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. All the presents are out. So it must be either Christmas Eve or around Christmas. Frisbee! Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. They look really creepy. They look like mannequins. I guess we'll just keep going along. Got her. Oh, this is interesting up here. I could tell she was getting really tired. 
Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Okay, I'm gonna go up here then. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Rabbits are cool. Rabbits, I see them. I wonder what we'll turn into next. We might get to be a rabbit. Rabbits, rabbits. Oh! <laughs> I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. And then I flew oh, off to find something bigger. Bigger than a rabbit. A dog. A fox. A mama rabbit. Oh, a bigger rabbit, okay. No. Nailed it. It's almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What? A hundred? <laughs> oh my god. This is weird, look at this. Whoa! <laughs> this is not where I expected this to go. I oh, rolled shit. off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier uh. than ever. Okay, I guess I'm gonna follow this uh, fish or something. You see the controls being inverted, but they're not, so it's confusing. Oh, he's gone. Okay. I wanted fat, oh, there's one. juicy hey. seals. Seal, yeah. That was a seal. I like you can interact with the words, so that's pretty cool. Are we a seal? Not a seal, an eel. Or an octopus with one long tentacle. Oh. Oh. Now I was a monster and I smelled people like me. Ah, okay. Oh, there's a dog. Oh no, it's a bird. Never mind. A monster that's just a head on a tentacle. That's interesting. Slithering under the cars. I was big. <gasps> There's a person. Real quiet. Whoa! Okay, cool. Yeah, 
this is weird, man. I don't, I don't even know what's. <laughs> okay, come on. Then. Go on side, maybe. If there is an event, if, uh, if there isn't, jeez. If there even is anything, let's slow them in here. Bird. Look at my slimy tentacle. Look at me go. I'm a slimy tentacle. And I need to eat some people. I'm gonna find me some people to eat. That's a dude. We can't eat the dude at the table. What's going on over here? This is really weird. Not much. Okay, I guess we have to be coming from that side then. And are we gonna go for the sailor? Yes, we are. The captain. Lift the stairs, try again. Here we go. Me and my tentacle. Easing the door open. Hello, Mr. Sailor. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Are we suing as the master? Yes! <laughs> hey, we are suing the master. And the good smell went into an old pipe. Ooh, cool lighting effect. I went into an old pipe. Ooh. Closer and closer. We're back in Molly's room. I'm going to go to the open window. It looked quite enticing. Can we climb up walls? No. Don't be silly, monsters can't climb up walls. Or at least, like, solo tentacles can't. Right, okay, so what are we meant to do? It's quite dark. Um, okay, let's just keep going this way. Oh, All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. And we're back in the room. Okay, that was an interesting little... I'm not sure if I That's believed made. all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Just mark her down as mental. Oh, we're out. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. So, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. We got along and it was a good place to hide from my mom. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year. 
just in time to replace the old ones. Wow, she went through a lot of gloves. Walter, Calvin, Barbara, Molly, Gus, Lewis, Milton, Edith, 2004. Her room was like a museum. Odin. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. Ingeborg, oh, okay. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. That explains the house that sat... But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. I'm guessing that's where Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Okay, so that dude looking out is... His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Alrighty then. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. So we need to... Like, kind of learn everyone's story? I'm assuming. Or the medication. And an oxygen thing, I'm guessing. Tapes. Edie gave a big interview about oh, a crap. mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. That's creepy. Hopefully we don't come across him. Edith Jr. I hadn't Rachel. thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Okay. Can we play it? I guess not. Molly Concepts. That's interesting. Shrine, right? When Sven Edie told people Finch. Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Is that everything we can interact with in here? This looks like it. Even okay, in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. We're in the pink room. That's okay. Frog glasses. The only trace of the first wife Kay left on the house to do was the pink the bathroom. <laughs> it was a pretty big trace. <gasps> the key. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Ooh. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. So this is like the development room. That's actually a pretty cool to, uh, thing to do, so if you haven't, like, developed photos in, like, a dark room or anything, I'd recommend that, because it's pretty cool to do. We do that for college in the photography section, obviously. Cool. 
couple turns land into a native haven. Okay. Calvin's room. Sam and Calvin. It looks so much bigger when we're looking through the hole. Cool picture. Sam Finch, most improved player. Good job. Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. It's like wonder. Nice. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. This kid looks like he's been through some wars. Oh, it's my key. This one. I guess so. Okay, my brother cool. said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. I'm not keen on his technique. Do anything else? Oh, is that? Is that a person or a statue? It's looking for binoculars. I think it's a, a person. Why is he dragging his foot? I want to swing higher, damn it. Dude, if we're if we're gonna do something, I, I have no idea what it is. And it's weird that the pause menu is why. I've never had that again. Okay, just keep swinging. Okay, back and forth, backwards, forwards. See, look at him drag his foot. Look. Get your foot up. Oh, okay. There's words there. Why have they disappeared? Come back, words. Uh, what am I gonna do? Pick it up. Pressing the buttons. Stop me. Didn't seem to be making that much of a difference. Oh, we can. Okay, here we go, here we go. Apparently, At my Barbara white Fino, stick was controlling school, his. He'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Leg. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, here at some point. he finally made up his mind to do it. Here we go. I told him going around here was we impossible. Go. No, next one. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. 
Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be. I mean, who would place a swing but I don't. next to a big cliff anyway? I think he'd already made up his mind. Here we go. Almost. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Here we go, people. Whoa. Yes, 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 yes. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Well, he went far. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. And with that, let's call it a day for episode one. Still not entirely sure what to uh, make of it so far. But yeah, hopefully you'll join me next time when we find out more about the Finches and their incredibly strange stories and their labyrinth-like house. So, um, yeah, so thanks for joining me, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys next time for part two.